This is Sidescape 370, and I'm going to demonstrate the new annotation panel. Let's start with the yeast perturbation network. And we'll zoom into an area that we want to highlight, for example, and go to the annotation tab, which is in the control panel. Here you can see you can add different types of annotations. We're going to add a shape annotation. Click on it then click anywhere on the network to open up the shape annotation panel. Let's make an ellipse. Let's give it a fill color. We'll make it partially transparent. You can pick a border color and a thickness. Click OK and you'll now be able to define the size by clicking a second time anywhere on the network. And now you'll see we have this shape object. It's currently in the foreground layer. We can move it to the background, clicking on this arrow. And with these new selector options at the bottom of the network, we can also choose to select annotations. Activating that, we can now move annotations around and resize them in addition to selecting nodes and edges. You can turn that on and off. Let's also add a text label. Again, click anywhere to activate the dialog. We'll write some text. Make it bold, large, and red. There's our text. You can select it move it around, resize it. We have a foreground, text, background, shape. The last thing we want to do is connect these with an arrow, an annotation arrow, not a network now. Arrow. You have to start the arrow by clicking on an annotation. We'll go with the defaults this time, click OK, and now we can end the arrow on a node or on another annotation. And you'll see they are now connected. Arrow, label, and the background annotation.